Mr. President, honorable government and civil leaders, distinguished member of the diplomatic corps, my brother bishops, ladies and gentlemen, I am most grateful for your warm welcome on this my first visit to Africa. I thank you, Mr. President, for your kind words in the name of the Kenyan people. And I look forward to my stay among you. Kenya. Kenya is a young and vibrant nation, a richly diverse society which plays a significant role in the region. In many ways, your experience of shaping a democracy is one shared by many other African nations, like Kenya, they too are walking the bird on the solid foundations of mutual respect, dialogue, and cooperation, a multi-ethnic society which is truly harmonious, just, and inclusive. Yours too is a nation of young people. In these days, I look forward to meeting many of them, speaking, <laughs> speaking with them, and encouraging their hopes and aspirations for the future. The young are any nation's most valuable resource. To, pro to protect them, to invest in them, and to offer them a helping hand is the best way we can ensure a future worthy of the wisdom and spiritual values dear to their elders values which are the very heart and soul of a people. Kenya has been bless blessed not only with immense beauty in its mountains, rivers, and lakes, its forests, savannas, and semi-desert deserts, but also by an abundance of natural resources. The Kenyan people have a strong appreciation of these God-given treasures and are known for a culture of conservation which does you honor. <laughs> the grave environmental crisis in our world demand an ever greater sensitivity to relationship between human beings and nature. We have a responsibility to pass on the beauty of nature in its integrity to the future generations and an obligation to exercise a just stewardship of the gifts we have received. These values, these values are deeply rooted in the African soul, in a world which continues to exploit rather than protect our common home they must inspire the effort of national leaders to promote responsible models of economic development. 
in effect, there is a clear link between the protection of nature and the building of a just and equitable social order. There can be no renewal of our relationship with nature without a renewal of humanity itself. <laughs> the extent that our societies experience divisions, whether ethnic, religious, or economic, all men and women of goodwill are called to work for reconciliation and peace, forgiveness and healing. In the work of building a sound democratic order, threatening cohesion and integration, tolerance and respect for others, the pursuit of the common good must be a primary goal. <laughs> Experience shows that violence, conflict, and terrorism feed on fear, mistrust, and, and despair born of poverty and frustration. Ultimately, the struggle against these enemies of peace, of prosperity, must be carried on by men and women who fearlessly believe in and bear honest witness to the great spiritual and political values which inspired the birth of the nation. Ladies and gentlemen, the advancement and, uh, and preservation of these great values is entrusted in a special way to you, the leaders of your country's political, cultural, and economic life. This is a great responsibility, a true calling in the service of the entire Kenyan people. The gospel tells us that from those to whom much has been given, much, much will be demanded. In that spirit, I encourage you to walk with integrity and transparency for the common good and to foster a spirit of solidarity at every level of society. I ask you in particular to show genuine concern for the, need, for the needs of the poor. The aspirations of the young and a just distribution of the natural and human resources with which the Creator has blessed, has blessed your country. I assure you of the continued efforts of the Catholic community through his educational and charitable works to offer its specific contribution in these areas. <laughs> Dear friends, I am told that here in Kenya, it is tradition for young school children to plant trees for prosperity. May this eloquent sign of hope in the future and trust in the growth 
which God gives, sustain all of you in your efforts to cultivate a society of solidarity, justice, and peace on the soil of this country and throughout the great Africa continent. I thank you once more for your warm welcome. And upon you and your families and all the beloved Kenyan people, I invoke the Lord's abundant blessings. Mungu abariki Kenya. I humbly request all of us now to remain studying as His Excellency the President escorts his, the Holy Father. Thank you. I humbly request all of us to remain studying where we are, kindly.